Hey, this is Dr. Too Fast here, and in this video I will be installing a HID kit into my fog light. The kit I have right now is a 35 watt. This is the uh, ballast. This is not the slim design. It's an older design, but the principle behind the same thing. You have input voltage coming in. This uh, ballast will step up the voltage, and it outputs onto here. And this end connects to your HID bulb. This one I have here, it's uh, 5000 K for the uh, color temperature. So this will plug onto this connector out of the ballast. As a comparison, on the right side is the regular halogen H11 bulb, and on the left side is the HID bulb. So as you can see, the HID bulb is longer than the uh, regular halogen bulb. I want to point out that if you are also installing H11 HID bulb, a lot of these aftermarket ones have the gasket upside down. What you need to do is take this out and then flip it and bring this, you see this lip right here? You need to bring this gasket below this lip. The guy on the assembly line probably don't even know that the gasket needs to be seated in that specific location. So, so this is how it should be. All right. So what I've done so far on the passenger side here is I've disconnected the factory H11 plug from the fog light assembly, removed the halogen bulb, and then installed the HID bulb into this housing here. And these uh, connectors here are from the HID bulb. Now, you might have heard that you know these HID kits are plug and play. What they mean by plug and play is that typically you can connect from the factory power source directly into this ballast and then from the output of the ballast you connect up to the HID bulb and that's it whenever you turn on the fog light the HID will turn on also uh, but there are times when there's not enough current coming out of the factory connector so if you want you can install a relay kit and that's the route I'm gonna take I will be installing a relay kit which will get the power directly from the battery so this is the relay kit that I put together. It's pretty straightforward. It uses a 30 amp 12 volt relay that you see right here. And it's a single pole double throw, or what they call SPDT. And from this relay, basically you have a trigger wire. This yellow wire I used will be connected to the fog light 12 volt. So whenever the fog light turns on, it will send 12 volt to this relay, it will energize it, and then it will complete a circuit. Uh, I have uh, the blue wires coming out is the 12 volt. Uh, 12 volt is fused going to the battery right here. And then also have ground going to the chassis. And the red and the black wires you see here will be the output going to the uh, ballast, the HID ballast. That's why I have this connector here, you see here. And that's all you need for this connection for a relay kit. And uh, you can buy these off eBay, uh, pre made. But if you know how these relay functions, uh, you can actually build your own. So after I connect to the ground and the power, the output of the relay will go to the ballast, as I mentioned earlier. And this is going to be the output to the HID bulb. So I'll be installing this ballast somewhere down below here, and then drop this cable down below where the uh, fog light is, and connect it up. Let me show you the connection on the HID bulb. So on my left hand is the bulb side and this is the wire coming from the ballast. So there are these two connectors and it snaps in like this and the other wire goes in like this. Okay. So now carefully put the HID bulb in there. Seed it in. Give it a twist. And there it is. It's nice and secure now. So from the driver's side, I ran the other 12 volt output over to the passenger side. This is the connector you see right here. And this will connect into the HID ballast. So here's my ballast, here's my plug. I just need to connect this.
So that silver box is the ballast. That's where I mounted it. It's right behind the uh, headlight. And on the passenger side, that's where I mounted the other ballast. So this is what it looks like with the HID and the fog light. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.